And here we go for the epic conclusion of the best of three show match series between the little one who is spawning as the Zerg in the six o'clock position, his opponent, Gonzo, spawning in the three o'clock position. Again, Zerg. We are here on Lost Temple, and I'm very excited to see who is going to come out on top in this this uh, this series right now. Like I said, this is game number three. So you can probably do the math and figure out we are one and one right now. I guess that's not really going to be a spoiler for you. If it is, then you probably just need to work on your math skills a little bit or watch the videos beforehand. Both videos one and two are available on my channel. That is Anaris Starcraft. Uh, you can just look that up on YouTube. And yeah, so anyways, let's check out down here what the little one is doing. See a distinct lack of drones and a definite building of a spawning pool got a little bit of a uh, seven pool going on right here as the drone is popping right here to make up for the one that he spent dropping down the pool also got another one right here bringing it to eight supply got an observer dropping there not sure what's up with that you can see we got a couple observers in the game as gonzo bringing out a drone right here now this drone is actually gonna be pretty crucial because probably around the time that he's gonna get there that spawning pool is going to pop so you know, he's going to be able to have a little bit of advance warning that there is a rush coming. But, you know, whether he's able to do anything about it, I'm not too sure. Yep, looks like it just popped right as soon as he came down there. As uh, you see, he's just kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> as a matter of fact, he's even saying, oh, ho, ho, I know what's going on there. So, spawning pool going down for Gonzo right there. That's actually a pretty decent positioning. Should he absolutely have to, um, he could uh, he can pop his drones right there or in there and not worry about being surrounded too much by the Zerglings. But we'll have to see, though, as you can see also right here, he's bringing these drones out because he wants to make sure the little one is not going to be dropping a spine crawler right here. Of course, with Zergs, they are not able to, or with Zerg, rather, they're not able to uh, see all the way out of the creep. You see that little dark band right there. So that is a prime spot to drop a spine crawler. The little one actually choosing just to... Uh, not worry about that route and is bringing his four zerglings up here might try to get some free kills you can see one of the drones is already fairly low in health another one about halfway down picking off on actually the zerglings are taking a whole bunch of the drones down about half or less i think we lost one drone there goes two but we did lose a good number of zerglings three of them right there as we are now doing the loop-de-loop -loop around the hatchery once again waiting for these zerglings to pop right there the little one is going to have to retreat. He is certainly uh, the inferior in terms of uh, Zergling count in that particular battle here as he is now running back to his base. Going to have to regroup just a little bit, maybe get some reinforcements as he is working on building his economy up right now. Now, whether or not that was actually worth it, we can see right in here that the little one is currently sitting at 13 drones compared to his opponent's now 10. So I would say ultimately that, that brought him back in line to be about even. Put to, maybe put the little one a little bit ahead of the drone count, but we'll have to see if that actually translates to uh, anything significant here in the coming minutes, whether or not Gonzo is able to pull back from that and really make a uh, strong push here. Now, got a queen heading out, and I think it was actually just a little bit of a miss, Micro, there. Not really going to matter. It's going to ha not have enough energy before it gets back there anyway, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely fine on that. And looking down here, got the Zerglings heading over, just doing a little bit of chasing right there, trying to make sure that he can catch the one that the little one had down there, a little straggler. But here comes the little one Zerglings getting a nice surround on the three down here. Oh man, definitely significant losses for Gonzo. As the little one has his own Zerglings heading out back out towards Gonzo's base. And you can see right here he does have three drones working on gas. We'll have to see what he plans to do with it though. He's going to have to do something fairly soon as we do have five or six Zerglings coming into the base right here. Going to make a straight line right up I think right here. You can see the right now the command's given as there are four Zerglings combined with the queen. I think it's more than enough to... Uh, not not really do a whole bunch of damage so the little one's going to pull back here actually and wait for a little bit more reinforcements he might try to get a surround on the queen although that would be pretty risky considering where it's at right now definitely uh, in a very defensible position with the zerglings and the drone and the in the back of the mineral line there the little one's got a second queen out gonna looks like throw some creep tumors down maybe expand that creep out just a little bit here not really doing anything else in the way of production just getting out some zerglings uh, just a little bit ago and now you can see zergling speed is on the way which of course it is for both players right now as we have a baneling nest going down for gonzo banelings whoa camera don't do that uh banelings would certainly spell a lot of trouble for the little one now look at this look at these zerglings right here man gonzo is really coming back in force coming with these double file zerglings chasing the little one all the way back down to his base where he might be prepared yep actually now this is actually uh pretty interesting right here look at this will the queen get there in time to block off these zerglings okay looks like the zerglings are actually going to pull off uh pull off on not attack at all 
probably, <coughs> excuse me, probably a good call there. He does not want to engage with these two queens right here, especially because of the fact that the little one is actually throwing down a Roche Warren, so he will be able to fire from behind the uh, the queens there and knock off any attacks but look at this we've got a bunch of banelings coming in here just out of visual range of the little one so he does not know they're coming look at that great positioning right there C just close enough as the creep slowly extends outward towards the base of the ramp it's going to give him a little bit of additional vision but not really going to be that big of an issue here and it looks like he's actually canceling those banelings and just retreating calling it quits there doesn't want to engage after all Looking over here, we can see he doesn't really have anything else in the way of tech or production facilities. He's running off of just one base at the moment and fielding more and more Zerglings as we... Actually, he's focusing on drones right now. But overall, he's just focusing on getting Zerglings out as his main, uh, main army right here. Now, the little one continuing to build up his forces. I like how he's transitioned into a particularly solid economy here. He's set himself up well. His drone count's good. We can see he's sitting at 24 harvesters over 21. And of course, those extra three are the gas right there. So we can expect to see the minerals exactly even, which they are. Looking at the units lost tab, oh, it looks like we just had a little suicidal zergling there. Nothing really too exciting. Roach is more than enough to pick it off combined with the queen wall. Uh, nice, uh, nice circling here. Uh, nice circling army here. Still, rather, can't talk there. Getting kind of tired tonight. But um, anyways, we've got the units lost right now. You can see six to thirteen. Definitely a loss. The lesser in terms of quantity and quality. And just for the hell of it, look at the APM here. We can see the little one sitting at around 156, spiking up, up and down just a little bit here as the game demands. And his opponent about 216. Looks like he's averaging a little bit less currently though. And don't know why that went away, but uh, anyways, we've got an overseer coming over here right soon. I think it's morphing. Where is that overseer? Right there. And I might see a little bit of contaminate. Definitely going to see some scouting here. Certainly no AOE to speak of. Got that one queen right there, but that's certainly not enough to deter a scout. Oh, look at that little queen bait right there. Bringing in that zergling. Definitely going to lose that little uh, little guy was not meant for this world now his uh, his opponent down here the little one still building up his forces look at this he's sitting so well i mean he's got his gas set up his income he's producing just he's going straight roach he's got the uh, speed upgrade on the way as we speak and uh doesn't have burrow just yet might not even really care about that but look at that man he's pushing out right here gonna guard his expansion may actually go on the offensive for a little bit to try to keep uh kind of treat try to keep Gonzo contained while his expansion builds. He certainly spread the creep out a good bit, but look at this Gonzo coming in here. We have the Zerglings and the uh, Roaches. Oh, man, ton of free shots for the little one, taking out that entire army with such ease. Now he's moving up here to counterattack. Banelings and Zerglings are coming to position. Will these Banelings do their damage? I don't know. This, of course, the little one seeing those Banelings and reacting very quickly, bringing his forces away. I was almost a uh, almost a substantial loss there for the little one. That would have hurt a lot if he lost all those zerglings. But we'll have to see here as the expansion is currently about 60% complete. This is exactly the position that the little one wants to be in. He wants to keep Gonzo on the defensive so the expansion can finish building and uh, really just help him secure a victory here, which I think right now is looking pretty darn good. Look at that nice circling surround on the roaches, but it's still a ton of damage for uh, the little one. Look at that right there. Transfuse going out. Of course, uh, I think we could do one or two more. Yep, two more right there. But I don't think it's going to be needed at this point. Those bailings really weren't be able to, weren't able to do a lot of damage at all. As we can see right here, the roaches are retreating for Gonzo as the little one pushes up for the ramp further and further, forcing Gonzo back into his base now with the remainder of his forces. And here come the drones in a last-ditch last, last ditch effort to defend. Not even. Gonzo is calling it quits right there with the GG, allowing the little one to take victory in this showmatch series. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I said, this is the first series that I, or the first videos I've done since getting my new computer. So, I think I got the sound and volume right. If not, feel free to leave a comment below. And, yeah, so, anyways, if you guys have any um, requests for high-level games you guys want to see in the coming weeks, particularly matchup series, I'm kind of a series mood right now. Uh, I was going to do a bunch of the Huck games, but I saw Husky already cast a bunch of them, so not really going to worry about that. But anyways, let me know what who you guys want to see play, and I will hunt down, use my epic list of contacts that I think consists of a hand-drawn bear and a jelly donut, and I will find some epic games for you guys. Anyways, yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like it, rate the video, and I will see you guys later.